and a systematic review in stem cell therapy for treatment of type 1 diabetes. As you all already know, it is the chronic autoimmune condition which leads to pancreatic destruction of beta cells. These are the current attempts to cure T1DM. One of them is a primary approach of insulin therapy. Second one is pancreatic and islet transplantation, immunotherapy, stem cell based therapy and genetic therapy. So why do we need stem cell therapy? First, as you all already know, insulin therapy it is a curative approach but it has certain drawbacks like hypoglycemia, weight gain, skin reactions. Further moving forward to pancreas and advanced insulin delivery systems, they have been effective but the high cost uh, causes potential inconvenience uh, to some patients inhaled insulin like Ephraza which was launched but it gives rapid onset but it has shorter duration of action and it, it also necessitates the monitoring of lung function uh, when we talk about insulin pumps it is complex to for management in day to day life also islet and pancreatic transplantations they are effective but donor scarcity and lifelong immunosuppression causes major challenges this is the overview of uh, different types of stem cells uh, based on their origin. Uh, advantages, it is a, it is a curat uh, curative approach, it modulates immune response, improves glycemic control, reduces complication, improves quality of life. When we go on uh, mechanism of action, first the stem cells are ex extracted from patient's body or donor's body, then they are cultured into the laboratory, then they are transplanted by intravenous or intrapancreatic roots. Also different roots are explored, I will show in further studies. When they are uh, transplanted into patient's body, these are the different pancreatic beta cell markers responsible for uh, its uh, differentiation into functional beta cell producing insulin. Moving forward to when they are uh, transplanted into patient's body, they activate TREC cells, uh, also they inhibit T cell and TH1 cell, uh, uh, cell mediated immunity which uh, uh, protects the new form beta cells which successfully produces insulin patient's own body. When they are transplanted into patient's body, they have uh, uh, adherence to endodermal lineage via help of activin A and 5 FGF factors which leads to its conversion into pancreatic progenitors via help of certain markers like PDX1, NK6.1 which leads to its conversion into immature islet-like cells and then further they are converted into mature islet-like organoids which produces insulin. So these are the reasons of its potential in uh, treatment of diabetes. Now these are the various types of stem cells. I have compared it internally based on their properties, efficacy and safety and immunomodulation ability. So when we compare it on basis of its safety, mesenchymal stem cells were found to be more safe because the side effects noted were fever and mild rash, while embryonic stem cells had potential for teratoma formations. Uh, so moving forward to clinical trials, this is an open parallel control study in which one group was treated with mesenchymal stem cells, another was treated with uh, insulin. The result obtained was decreased in HbA1c level, C-peptide was increased, stability of C-peptide was obtained, better glucose control was, control was achieved. Side effect only had mild fever after infusion. So you have uh, carried out this? No, it is a review of literature in which different studies were added. Uh, another one is the pilot study in which allogenic uh, adipose tissue derived stem cells were used. Uh, so when it co when we combine this allogenic ASC with cold calciferol without immunosuppression, it uh, uh, was achieved. It achieved stability of C peptide levels. Moving forward to autologous hematopoietic stem cell study, it also showed potential to stop insulin use and to improve beta cell function. This, was, this study is an experimental which was done in Maharashtra, India uh, in which they have explored another route of transplantation that is omental pouch. Uh, the uh, result obtained wa was better HbA1c levels, C-peptide levels and improvement in anti-GAD antibody levels with minimal side effects noted. This is also of Maharashtra Medexis which had done this treatment in a patient and success rate observed was 80%. These are the more different studies for different types of stem cells, its uh, results and conclusion. And while combining all of this, it shows that stem cell therapy are most sa more safe option compared to other types of stem cells reviewed because it exhibits low immunogenicity, no tumorogenicity has been reported. Also, it has potential to reduce diabetic complications like diabetic foot ulcers. Moving forward to how we can improve the uh, formulation of stem cell therapy when they are transplanted into patient's body. So if we prevascularize these stem cells before injecting them into the patient, the differentiation uh, opted, compared when it to normal pancreatic progenitors, the vascularization was much more faster compared to the normal stem cells transplanted. 
when we come to safety and ethical considerations, there are ethical concerns include use of embryonic stem cell, informed consent and equitable access to the treatment. Uh, stem cell therapy cost in India when compared to other countries in India it is dollar six thousand USD. But if it is more commercial commercialized, the cost reduction can take place. Conclusion: uh, So it provides a promising for frontier for type one diabetes mellitus. Also, these uh, safety profiles have been generally favorable and manageable adverse effects have been noted. But uh, when uh, different types of stem cells reviewed, mesenchymal stem cells stand out as most balanced in term of safety and efficacy. Future directions, it is necessary to refine standardized stem cell therapy protocols. Now, uh, these studies have done for uh, like two to four years, but there is a need to monitor long term outcome of this therapy, optimizing various delivery systems to achieve high level, high therapeutic levels, exploring combination therapy of different types of stem cells together, enhancing long term outcomes and addressing regulatory considerations. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Two questions. In which, uh,